And let's begin with the ending to a story so fascinating that it's hard to believe it's real and not the plot of a movie. A whodunit, $20 million in gold bars, $2 million in U.S. cash stolen from an Air Canada cargo facility at Toronto's Pearson Airport. And now a joint task force involving Canadian and U.S. law enforcement has solved the mystery. They released the details on the one-year anniversary of the brazen theft that initially boggled authorities. CTV's Rahim Ladani joins us. So Rahim, what did police reveal today? Sandy, police dubbed this investigation Project 24 Carat, and exactly one year after an historic heist, arrests have been made, but much of the gold still hasn't been recovered. What are we stealing? While it may sound like a Hollywood blockbuster movie, the largest gold heist in Canadian history was anything but fiction, and we now know the starring suspects are all from the greater Toronto area. This one is a carefully planned and well-organized group of criminals from both inside and outside of airport facilities that orchestrated this theft. Police say it was an inside job that started when this man, 25-year-old Durante King McLean of Brampton, showed up to the Air Canada cargo warehouse at Toronto's Pearson International Airport on April 17, 2023. He presented this airway bill, which was actually for a shipment of seafood that was picked up the day before the heist. But a duplicate copy was printed inside the airport by an employee. A short time later, a forklift arrived with a container of gold and foreign currency and loaded it into the rear of the suspect's truck. 6,600 gold bars weighing 400 kilograms valued at $20 million, along with an additional $2.5 million in Canadian cash, made its way west on Highway 401 before heading north of Milton. More than four months after the heist, police got a break. South of the border, King McLean was pulled over by a state trooper in Pennsylvania for a minor traffic violation. That's when they discovered 65 stolen and automatic guns. Court authorized search warrant for the vehicle led to the recovery of those firearms that were allegedly destined to be smuggled into Canada. Police in Peel Region believe those guns were bought with profit from the gold heist. Their investigation also leading to the recovery of the white truck, more than $400,000, six pure gold bracelets and tools commonly used to melt gold. While King McLean is in U.S. police custody on firearms trafficking charges, Peel police have arrested these five men. One, an Air Canada employee, another, a jewelry store owner. They've also issued Canada-wide warrants for three other men, including a former Air Canada employee. But these criminals thought they were more sophisticated than police. They were wrong. To date, still only a fraction of the $20 million worth of stolen gold has been recovered. And police admit they likely won't find it all. We believe the gold has been melted down and reconstituted into local and possibly international markets. Uh, it can be done, unfortunately, fairly easy. And that's what we're trying to find out. Adding their investigation is far from complete. Aside from the investigation, security company Brinks has filed a lawsuit against Air Canada claiming it was negligent in the handling of its gold bars. Air Canada denies any careless conduct. Sandy. All right, CTV's Raheem Ladani at Toronto's Pearson Airport.